There's this passage in There's this passage in uh, Hebrews. Does this look weird? Well, so does this. When people come in and this is the only time they eat. Okay, this looks weird. I should not be drinking out of a baby bottle, right? That's the same thing Paul says in Hebrews. He says, for though, well, the writer of Hebrews, which I think is Paul, for though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the basic principles of the oracles of God. You need milk, not solid food, for everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in a a word of righteousness since he's a child. Paul says some of you should have been teachers by now. Like you've been going to these gatherings and Pastor Peter's like, come up here, come up here. Come here, suck on this bottle, let me feed you. And for some of you, this is the only time you eat all week long. You don't even know how to pick up this book and feed yourself. That's what we're trying to do is get you to memorize some verses, get in this book. So many of you have never even read this book. You come here and go, well, I'd rather come and have Peter feed me. And I'm just telling you, that's weird. That looks really weird for him to stand here every week. Come on up, come on up. And then you complain going, you didn't feed me enough. And Paul says, are you kidding me? Is this really going on? Is this really going on? You should have been a teacher and you're up there complaining that he didn't give you the little baba for long enough. You didn't feed me enough, pastor. I've heard this my whole life. You come in, you're like, well, I didn't get enough from the worship. I didn't get enough from the sermon. He didn't feed me enough. Wah, wah. And they're like, oh, your sermon wasn't good enough. It's like, no, you know why you're unhappy? It's your fault. It's you, you suck. You do, you come and you suck out of this bottle every week and you suck all the life out of me and it's still not enough and you start sucking from everyone else. Have you ever considered the reason why you're not happy is because you suck? You do, you suck the life out of people. That's the reason why your marriage sucks is because you suck. You don't have enough. God says in Jeremiah 2, he goes, don't you understand? I'm a spring of living water. But you're going and you're trying to dig these cisterns and trying to get life from all of these other people and it doesn't hold water, but I'm a spring of living water. That's why David says, the Lord is my shepherd. I don't suck. I shall not suck. I don't want from other people. He goes, in fact, I've got this cup and it's like spilling over onto everyone around me. Why? Because I'm so fulfilled in this. Look, other people are never gonna give you the life you expect. Some of you suck as parents. You're not fulfilled in Christ, so you, want, you need something from your kids. Some of you guys suck as children that you, don't, you haven't found your own relationship with God, so you demand so much from your parents. And so what happens when we are empty people? We start trying to leech from other people, and this is what causes the divorces, this is what causes all the broken families. And then everyone comes in the church wanting something for themselves, and then we end up with a church that sucks. <laughs> 